Live from historic downtown Omaha, Nebraska, welcome to Old Market Acoustics. Here's your host, C.J. Thomas. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, we have a very good band, uh, one of the best bands we've had in a while. Give it up for Daisy Distraction. So you guys are just about to put out an album. Comes out on the first. Yep. Can you tell me a little bit about it. Who's <laughs> going? Well, it's called uh, it's called uh, For Anna, um, and we we've been writing it this last year. Um, we self-produced it. We mixed it ourselves, mastered it ourselves. Um, we well, we got a little help from Luke Heffron, so shout out, thank you for that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, a lot of the songs were written about our friend Anna Abbott, um, who passed away last summer. And I mean, it, it just hit us really hard. Um, but we kind of used music to, uh, to cope with it. And it's not what like every song is about, but that's the focus of the album. And what's your process behind writing these songs and the lyrics that go into it? Honestly, um, there isn't much of one, if I'm being completely <laughs> frank with you, yeah. Honestly, I remember we had a benefit for Anna. It was like a blues ad benefit. We had a bunch of bands there. We sold baked goods, and it was really hard, actually, to perform at because it was only like a week after her death. Oh, and nice. we had a jam that we had been working on, and it was actually called Solace Now. So I actually just took some time before our set, and I just was listening to it over and over again and I just like kind of felt the lyrics come to me, you know? So I don't really have much of a process. I just kind of like let the music write itself, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. And you know, a lot of the time people show up to practice with new parts or something like that. And you know, it's kind of cool because everyone brings a lot to the table with their respective instrument. So like, you know, Neil obviously, um, well, you know, he'll come up with like a new key part and then we'll write around that. And so I think it's really constructive because we all mesh very well and it just kind of comes naturally. So you guys, uh, I mean, how did you form? Uh, you were talking about Blues Ed earlier. Right. Well, the, the three of us, Aaron, me, and Neil, we were part of a Blues Ed group called Dilemma for uh, the summer of 2016. Yeah, I was in it for like four years, but they joined that summer and it was the best <laughs> summer ever. <laughs> yeah, so it was our senior year and we decided, hey, we love playing this blues music together and we love what we've done this summer with writing original f music for Anna and all that that we decided we need to have an original outlet that we can go to just to perform more even outside of Blues Ed. So Aaron came up with the name Daisy Distraction and we kind of just ran with it from there. And what's the story behind Daisy Distraction? Honestly, I had been trying to think of a name. It started out as plastic subways, <laughs> believe it or not. And plastic. then they just made fun of it. Like they, were just, they did not like it and that was obvious. So I was just like in the car and I was really trying to focus, but I kept finding myself getting distracted by the scenery and it was some really beautiful flowers. They weren't daisies actually, but <laughs> I liked the sound of Daisy Distraction. It just kind of popped in my head and I was like, I was sitting next to John. I was like, oh my gosh, how does it sound? Daisy Distraction, do you like it? He's like, yeah, actually I do. <laughs> so they didn't turn that one down. So that one little, just stuck, yeah. It's a little bit catchier than Tulip Distraction. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. Sunflower. It's worked so far. <laughs> Thankfully. Uh, now, you, um, you talked about how uh, you guys came together. For those people that don't know, can you tell what, what Blues Ed is? Yeah. Sure. So um, Blues Ed is a program here in Omaha that um, gets a lot of kids together to play blues music. And um, they offer these gig opportunities, such as Jazz on the Green, and a lot of like big performances. And then they also have some instructors that will like, um, help you improve your, your playing. And we were actually um, one of like the least bluesy bands in the program. <laughs> and yet um, we were nominated for best blues. Like yeah, that. no, it was, it was fun. But um, so yeah, they, they really helped us uh, form and get our technical skills where we wanted them. Yeah. And you got to play some gigs through them too, right? Right. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun. It's, it's a, a really great program. Yeah, we got to play like Jazz on the Green. We even got to be featured on like the Morning Blend. Like they got some really oh, cool that's awesome. gigs for us. Yeah, yeah and we fun. had our finale at like the waiting room. Like 
there are some really excellent people in that, and I would recommend like every young person who's interested in music to pursue it because it's an excellent program. Yeah, like it, not even blues, but like jazz and funk too. It's, right. it's a lot of fun. It really combines a lot of genres together, and they, I mean, they gave us the freedom to write our original music through what happened, and yeah. they're and giving a, a ton of other bands really cool opportunities, even past you know what we've seen. So right. that's very cool. And you're all Omaha natives. Mm -hmm. Yep. Born and raised. Mm -hmm. Yep. Big uh, And then some of you guys are spread out a little bit. Right. So during the school year, I'm actually in Ames, Iowa. I'm studying engineering at Iowa State. And I'm a little bit closer. I'm just down in Lincoln. But, you know, just studying, like, kind of out of town makes it a little bit difficult to mm -hmm. do band stuff some of the time. Yeah. I mean, there are some uh, benefits, too, though. I like, uh, we haven't really gone on, like, a full tour yet. Um, but because we had some connections in Ames, we were able to play a battle of the, the uh, bands there. Oh, very which cool. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, that's an interesting story, actually, because when we got there, um, we were just like racing to get there. We were late. Um, we, <laughs> when we were getting the amp out of the car, it fell on John's foot and just totally broke his toe. Like, yeah, smashed my toe into a million pieces. So we hobbled him up to the green space to play the gig, and he had to sit down and play the entire thing. It was, it was kind of a mess, I did but. not sit down that show, oh, though. Yeah, I, I stood up, remember? Yeah, I, st hardcore. Yeah. Yeah, I stood up that entire show, and that was a good... I thought it was a really good set anyways. Yeah. yeah. So. I, mean, I mean, we won. So. Yeah, yeah, there we go. You are a real David Grohl. Like, you know, like, yeah, like, yeah, true. Yeah. Me and That's Dave Grohl, we're like brothers. <laughs> you guys write pen pals. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. My name is Zach Cook, and I'm the director of cinematography for Old Market Acoustics. And I get asked pretty much all the time, who can be a sponsor for the show? Well, the answer is uh, pretty much anyone. So if you make musical instruments, or you grow delicious vegetables, or even if you just sell tasty meats, then let's talk, and let's get your product moving. Some real smart people in this group, uh, <laughs> particularly uh, somebody who likes to fix up electronics. Oh yeah. Um, so this summer, um, for my job, uh, I'm working for a guy, uh, Adam Ro uh, Adam Roberts is his name. Um, we're like selling old like vintage electronics and music equipment. It's a lot of fun. Um, actually, he uh, the the music equipment's pretty cool because it's a lot of like really old tube gear. And um, I'm, most of my equipment right now is like digital, but I think for our next release, I want to look into more like the old school, like analog stuff, like tubes and synths and stuff like that. There's a, there's a movement going on right now, and I, I like mm -hmm. the old really school is. analog right. sound. I think yeah. there's some, and it just has a tone of its own. Totally. Yeah, I mean, like that's why vinyl records are getting back, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and you guys are unique because you incorporate so much visual art into your albums and your your Twitter and shows. Yeah, that's all Erin. Yeah. I mean, we can all thank Erin for that. She just, you know, she just has this like mind where it's just like, how can I, you know, turn this into art? And, you know, even with, uh, you know, stuff that's like upcoming gigs and, um, you know, just other like mundane stuff that we'd be posting on Facebook or Twitter anyway. It's She'll never find boring. Yeah, no, it's always super creative and interesting. So thank you guys. Yeah, I, really I like just really does. like making them. To be honest, when I'm bored, I just start to like make stuff for Daisy. What's the what's the, what do you like most? What have you made that you're like, oh, this is it. This is perfect. Um, I really like our album release poster that I did. It's just a really pretty picture that I took, and I I also have um our upcoming shows poster that I recently just made. Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of like, like collage art a lot, so I try and base a lot of our posters on collage art. Like, we have, a, we have a personal Instagram for Daisy Distraction, and she does all most of all of the posting on it, and right. she's doing this really cool thing where she'll use white space for the pictures as like an element to like make it more creative. Like, she has a checkerboard pattern going on Very with cool. our feed right now. I just really, really like cool. when people put the time into like making the thinking about stuff like yeah. that, yeah. That's awesome. It's cool mm -hmm. to me. <laughs> and then you recently just played a, a gig in Stairwell Sessions. 
You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, that was oh, last that summer. Was, yeah, that, that was, was last summer, and that was amazing. Love Ben Baldwin. We actually had Ben Baldwin and Michelle Becker come and record us because I had actually met Ben Baldwin through Jocelyn, and I saw that he did stairwell sessions, and I reached out to him after all the stuff with Anna went down, and it was so cool, actually. After we recorded it, Michelle came up to us and literally told us that after we recorded that, she went home and learned Cottonwood. Like, that was just probably the coolest thing to hear because she's in Soul Tree and she's an established musician. She's amazing. And just to hear that coming, sorry, coming from her, that was just amazing. We actually have a, a clip if you want to cue it. And um, they also have it on YouTube if you want to see it. So check it out. This one's for you on my So you guys are pretty active on Twitter. Um, yeah, That's yeah, mainly Neil's territory. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much just re fun. retweeting Taco Bell advertisements. <laughs> so uh, I went on there. I checked you guys out. And there are, are pictures of Taco Bell from, like food items. It's awesome. Yes, we're, we're trying, trying to, to get, get sponsored. We're trying to get sponsored. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so if you're listening, Taco Bell. Uh, it's great. Give yeah, us no, fire totally. sauce for a year. <laughs> or give us back the strawberry slushies. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. tragic. Right. I need those Starburst slushies. But yeah, we, we recently just posted a tweet like about our categorization as a band. Oh yeah, no, John was just coming up with stuff. It's like it was like it was like post punk fusion rock jazz rap anime, just like <laughs> anime. <laughs> Sums us up. How did you guys decide on the genre that you wanted to be? Like, this is this is what we're gonna make. I don't think we ever did. No, yeah. yeah. I, don't think, I don't think we. <laughs> what made even a are we? Like, let's be honest. Yeah. It's like you know, every time someone comes up with a you know the song idea and we write around it, it sounds a little bit different than everything else that I think mm -hmm. feel like we've written. And I feel like so. we've played so many gigs with other bands that'll come up to us afterwards and say, "You guys really sound like a, a nice '80s eclectic fusion blend," and then they'll say, "Oh, you guys really sound like a post-punk kind of blend." Like, I really like these solos. It's like, we sound like so many different things. Right, you know? one minute like, we'll get, oh, you guys are such an excellent jazz group. And then people will say, oh, I love how heavy you are. Some, and it's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> someone, someone told us that we sounded like Radiohead, which made me smile because I'm like totally just a huge fanboy. <laughs> Sorry, you're pulling from each of those demographics. <laughs> right. I think so, yeah. I, I think it'd be kind of uh, limiting to us to like set in stone like what we can play in terms of like sound and uh, genre. I mean, you guys got big dreams looking at music video this winter. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully two or two, but these two Rugrats are so busy. <laughs> yeah, we'll be uh, recording uh, an EP or album after this, and it'll be fun. Oh yeah, I'm super excited for mm -hmm. that. So it'll I'll be a little bit heavier, I think, too. Okay. August 1st is your release date. Mm -hmm. That's and right. And where can they go to find your music? It will be available on Bandcamp and YouTube on August 1st. Um, and it will also be available on streaming services like a week or a couple weeks after that. Because We will keep you process. updated on our Facebook. Yeah, you can check Facebook or daisydistraction.com. And then August 6th, you guys are playing a show as August well. August 6th, we're playing a show at the Milk Run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah which will be fun. Run. We've been trying to, to play there for a while, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Perfect. Daisy Distraction, check them out. Hang on tight, we'll be right back. Hello, I'm Pam Lees with the Nebraska Humane Society, and we're inside one of our free roaming cat rooms here at the shelter. The shelter's job is to rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome homeless animals. The rescuing part comes in with animal control. They go out and try to make sure that stray animals find their way home. Animals that are injured or abandoned have a place to go in the shelter and then find a way to a home too. And the rehabilitate, of course, is once they get here, to help them with any type of medical that they may need or perhaps some behavior help before we can get them out to homes. But our real mission is to get animals out into the community. And in order to do that, we need people to come in and adopt our animals. 
We've got several in here in this cat room. We also have critters and horses and dogs and an occasional chicken or a goat. But what we really love about that is we're able to entice the community to come in and to adopt an animal and thereby enrich their lives. We love to enrich the lives of animals and people once they're in their homes as well. So we offer a variety of services to people that have pets. We offer training and low-cost stay and neuter, uh, a free pet food pantry for folks who fall on hard times, for folks who may run into a domestic violence situation and need their pets sheltered before they get out of a shelter. We offer Project Pet Safe, and we have kids camps and programs for children as well. So the Nebraska Humane Society really is a one-stop shop for all your pet needs, from helping pets, finding them, getting them into homes, and then offering help in the home as well. We're here at 90th and Fort, and we're waiting for you to come in and find your new best friend. If you don't do that, or if you're looking to maybe shop before you come in, you can find us on our website, nehumanesociety.org. All adoptable pets are listed, lost and found pets are listed as well, as well as all of our, as all of our services and other opportunities that we provide for you. So check us out at nehumanesociety.org, or come on in. Your next best friend might be right here. This portion of the segment is called Relay Race, and what we're gonna do is we have the band and we have some studio audience members who have graciously decided to join us. And we're gonna play Flip Cup, and then the winners are gonna go over here and throw uh, balls blindfolded, and then some Cheetos. And the first one to finish is the winner. So, if you can count us down. Get ready, set, and uh, go. <laughs> Wait for it. <coughs> oh, no. that's, that's some strong one. Oh. Oh. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Good work. Wait, I'm waiting for. Oh. These cups are yeah. so full. What did you guys do for them? <laughs> I know. This is a full cup of water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they're all. Yeah, this is shock, buddy. Come on, John. All right, before I start. You've been lost <laughs> in the Sahara Desert. <laughs> it's like that was so impressive. much water. Really? That down really fast. There you go. Come on. <coughs> Whoa! Oh! Oh! <laughs> we got a cheater. <laughs> you don't gotta do it that hard, man. It... I know. Oh, you're so close. Neil, I had it the first it. time. <laughs> this is gonna break up the band right here. <laughs> Wait, wait. Woo! Yeah. 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 I'm terrible at this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. So your team is yeah. Oh, you said you're close. You're close. So. Oh! Ah! There you go. Yeah. Aaron, blindfold. Get rid of it. Go, go, go. Neil! Archie! Archie! I'm so bad. One! Distraction. <laughs> we'll be right back. I'm Jenna Johnson. I work here at the Hot Shops as an acrylic artist. I've been here for five years now. Been painting for seven, and I focus mainly in figures and building cityscapes. Trying to figure out how to merge the two right now is what I'm focusing on. You can find me, find my work here at the Hot Shop in Studio 205. And you can get a hold of me, see my work at www.jennajart.com or find me on Instagram at jennaj_art. 
ladies and gentlemen, Daisy Distraction. So go check that out. This next song is under my skin.
Thank you guys so much. So this next one is called Tainted Glass. Hope you like it. Oh, we have a little bit of an instrumental change here. So like <laughs> what that was said before, we are Daisy Distraction. And we're going to play some songs for you. Some more. a song to go into this song but for time circumstances we are playing just looking for change so just stay tuned for the album you have to see both of them together there <laughs> or come see us live we have an album release this tuesday at the bourbon saloon so come out to that <laughs> Better change, better friend. 
Thank you guys so much again. We are Daisy Distraction. Let's hear it one more time for Daisy Distraction. Aaron, John, Neil, Alex, thank you so much. If you uh, please make sure to check out their album release August 1st. You'll be at the Bourbon Saloon. Uh, you can also see them at the Milk Run on August 6th. If you liked any of the art on the show, please visit uh, her shop. Her name is Jenna J. Uh, her Jenna J. Art upstairs and uh, the Nebraska Humane Society. Please help support that cause as well. So, thank you everybody for coming. One more time. <laughs>